is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah, this is how I fight my battles. Your blood speaks a better word. This is how I fight my battles. 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 This is how. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood. Speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Oh, your blood speaks a better word. My victory is in your blood. Oh, my victory is in your blood. This is how I fight my battles. 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 Like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded.
that disappointed me All those things the doctor said to me Your blood, your blood speaks a better word Your blood speaks a better word Come on, I don't know what you guys came in with this morning But I, I feel like the Lord is wanting to remind us of the power of His blood over every situation, over our bodies if we need healing, over our minds if we feel tormented, over, over marriages, relationships, the things that look hopeless. His blood is always speaking something better. And there's, that's the truth. We're gonna sing this just a couple more times. And I want you to put that thing that feels hopeless, that you're not sure if his blood covers. And we're going to see his blood cover it this morning. Oh, because by faith, by faith, when we sing this in faith, I'm, I'm just seeing this picture of my head that the Israelites, when they went to that, that body of water, you know, the Red Sea, and they were like, how in the world are we gonna cross this? And they couldn't have done it if it wasn't the Lord. And I feel like there's just situations in the room where you can't do it if it's not the Lord. So we're gonna sing this and I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing the faith build. It's like, you know, like, I don't know, I'm gonna cross this river, but your blood is the only river I So just by faith, whatever it is, just put his blood there. Cause your blood speaks a better word. 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 Watch your healing come through right now. Cause his blood speaks a better word. His blood speaks a better word. Oh, your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. And yeah, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my you grab someone's hands and hands next to you. So we fight the good fight of faith. 
It's a good fight of faith. We're seeing that the, the blood speaks a better word. So faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. And I believe the blood of Jesus wants to speak to you this morning. This is more than a song. This is an invitation. It's an invitation to a table to see what he's provided for you. But oftentimes when the invitation is right before us, we can miss it because of familiarity. We can miss it because we just really love this song and we're at the upper room and Alyssa's here and it's packed. But man, I just see in, in my heart, I just see the Lord knocking on some, on some of your hearts, just saying, is today the day? Is today the day? Is today the day that you hear the voice of my blood speaking in to that situation, to that scenario? I just feel like you can confidently and boldly approach the throne this morning because of what Jesus Christ has provided for you. And listen, if you're new to this house, we, we're a Levitical community. We have like really taken this mandate to love and minister to the Lord well. And what that has meant for us as Levites, if you study the role of the Levites in the Old Testament, and I won't, I won't go too deep into this, but Levites were experts, experts in the handling of blood. They were experts in the handling of blood. It's what they did. They dealt with blood day in and day out. Because blood, blood, blood dealt with sin and the effects of sin and its impact upon Israel. And we as a Levitical community, we want to be experts in dealing with the shed blood of Jesus. My buddy Peter preached at our conference a couple weeks ago and he said, may we never let the blood of Jesus grow cold upon our hands. Because the blood of Jesus is still flowing this morning. And it's flowing directly to your life and it wants to source your life for whatever you need. But what we do in faith is we administer the power of His blood to those areas in our life. And so I just want to take a moment and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you and that the power of His blood would meet you in this room where you're at. So just survey yourself for a second and think about the effects of sin, if there's shame, if there's guilt, there's cycles of sin and I just want to declare that the blood of Jesus is speaking to you right now Woo! come on he who has ears to hear let him hear what the blood of Jesus is speaking the better word the higher word his reality his perspective and just respond by saying Jesus thank you for your blood thank you for the power of your blood Thank you for the might of your blood. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood, Jesus. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Right now. Your blood speaks a better word. Oh, let hope arise, Jesus. Your blood speaks a better word. Let hope arise, Lord. Come on, Lord. Faith is being certain of what we your hope for. And your blood, Lord, your, your blood, blood, Lord, is speaking, and it's speaking hope. It's speaking hope. Word. It's dawning a new your day. It's declaring, 